Good afternoon, my name is Jacob Folger, I'm an artist sculptor, and today we're going to make a mushroom gnome. And we're starting off with a ball of polymer clay, this is Sculpey 3 brand, and I'm working in black because I like the way the finishes look on the color black. So I'm going to start with rolling a ball here, like that, and now I'm going to roll it into a... Uh, cone shape like this and we'll build the face on that once we get it like that I want to flatten the bottom and the way to do that the best way to do that is to run your index finger up the mushroom stalk and press in on the bottom and squeeze like that it's less likely to deform the uh, the stock if you do it that way. And then it should stand up on its own like that. Next I'm going to press in with my two thumbs to form the shape of the eyes. And then I'm going to kind of end the, the, also have the shape of the nose. I'm going to sort of end it there by pressing in below like that. And it looks like that. Now what I'll do is take a ball of clay. I can roll it between my fingers or I can roll it between the palms of my hands like this. And I'll put it right on the end of the nose there. And then blend it in. Blending is simply drawing the clay of one part to another part and making a smooth transition. Next I'm going to take two balls of clay about the same size, one there, want them to be about the same size. So I'm going to pinch a little off this one here. So there they're about the same size as you can see. And these are going to be for the cheeks. So just put them beside the nose. Like that. And then blend them into the head. If you have any trouble getting your fingers in there around it you can use a, a tool like this Let's use the tool to blend the cheek into the into the head. It's best to use your fingers if you can, just to practice using your hands and getting them to work the way you want.
Now I'm going to take a tool shaped like this and I'm going to press in to form the shape of the eye, eye uh, sockets. I want them to be the same depth and uh, level to each other, so straight across. And then I'm going to take two balls the same size for the eyeballs. So I'll roll one, drop it in there to see if it fits okay. And then if it does, I'll take it out. I'm going to add just a little bit more clay to that. And then I'm going to roll another ball the same size. That way we'll have the same size eyeballs. Like that. And drop them into the eye sockets and just press them gently into, into place. Now it's kind of fun to uh, have the eyes looking in a certain direction like left or right. You can have them look straight on if you want but it just makes it a little bit more whimsical if they're looking to the left or right. I'm using the back end of an old paintbrush and I'm going to make the pupils of the eyes. just by pressing a hole into the uh, eyeball. Now I'll take a small noodle of clay like this and put it over top of the eyeball And I'll make one for each side. And then you can take a sculpting tool like this and blend it in at the top. You also can uh, lift up on the eyelids around the pupil to kind of give the eye a, a little bit more lively look. And then you can uh, just we sculpt the eye, uh, eye pupil to go up underneath the eyelid so he doesn't look frightened or something like that. I'm going to press down on the uh, cheeks a little bit just to make them a little bit smaller and, and uh, or not as high up. Kind of like that. Now I'm going to make uh, eyebrows 
and just roll two balls the same size. So there's one. And there's two. And then I'll just roll them into like little oblong, oblong shapes. And put them on top of the eye. And then you can blend these at the top with the sculpting tool. So it looks like that. Then you can take a sharper sculpting tool, like this one's pretty sharp on the end here, and you can uh, carve in the hairs for the, uh, for the eyebrow texture. And do that on both sides. So that's what we got so far. Next we're going to make a little beard for him. I just tear off a little bit of clay and uh, roll it into a ball. And then I'm going to uh, squeeze it to form the shape of the beard. So I want it almost like a triangle. Then I'll try it on him, see how it works. So something like that. Now before putting it on, I'm going to take a sculpting tool and score the back of it, scratch it like that. And this will help it stick better to the face. And then I'm going to score the face. Then I'm going to take a noodle of clay and start off with a ball like this. Like that. And then I'm going to roll it into a noodle. And I'm going to have it kind of sharper on the edges like this here. See how it's sharper there? Roll this one out a little bit more. Like that.
and I'm going to press it up underneath the nose. Carve it up and under under there a little bit. And now I'm going to take a um, little ball of clay like this and roll it into a little oblong shape. And this is going to be for his bottom lip. And then I'm going to cut it in underneath, blend it in. Then what I can do is I can take right to the edge of his lip here and press into the mustache and this will give him a little bit of a look of a smile it takes a little patience to do this So it's just giving him kind of an upturned, an upturned look of a, of a smile. You can see he's start, starting to smile now. It looks like he's smiling. It's just an indentation here in the mustache. Kind of like that. So it's not a really wide smile, but it's a it's a smile nevertheless. Now I'm going to go back to the eyes, and I'm just going to press the eyelids up higher around the pupil of the eye. Just to help them to look a little bit more lively. And then I'll go back with the paintbrush tool and just uh, adjust his pupils, eye pupils, so that they're up underneath the eyelids. I'm just going to blend in the sides of the beard here to the face. And now I'm going to take uh, probably this tool here and carve lines in for the hairs of the beard and mustache. Yeah, underneath as well. And 
Now also on the mustache, there's a, a dividing line here, just underneath the nose in the center. It looks a little bit like Santa, and actually it's uh, Christmas Eve right now, so it's kind of fitting. But I'll bring it up close so you can see. Now we'll start the mushroom cap. Okay, we're going to start by rolling a, um, a ball. So we'll squeeze it to the shape of a ball to make it easier to start rolling it. And then roll it between the palms of your hands. Until it's nice and smooth. Like this. And then... Uh, well, we got a little bumish here, so let's blend that out. Just check it. Okay. Now what we want to do is take your um, these two fingers on one side and your thumb on the other side and squeeze while turning it. This will help it stay round. and just squeeze a little bit more each time you go around so it starts to look like a mushroom uh, mushroom cap you can go either way I go both ways sometimes And each time I go around, I squeeze it a little bit more, making it a little bit thinner on the edge. Now I'm just going to press down the center a little bit so it's not so tall. See how it fits. It's about right. Maybe a little, little more squeezing. <clears throat> so it looks like about like that. Now what we'll do is we'll take a sculpting tool and score it in the center of the bottom. And then the top of the uh, stock where it's going to join. Then what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of Sculpey Bacon Bond. I have to squeeze the bottle a little bit to get it to start to come out. And put a drop of it on top like that. <clears throat> now I'm going to hold the uh the the stock the stock or the head in my hand but i'm going to just cradle it i'm not going to squeeze it because if i squeeze it it will uh, deform our work you don't want to do that so put the um the mushroom cap on and twist it into place 
like that. Now what I do usually is I tilt it slightly and then I'll take my thumb and press up on the uh, on one edge like that so it looks like that. Then you can take, cradling the head in your hand, you can take a tool and just go along and blend it in at the, um, where the uh, stock joins the cap. Wherever it needs it. It may not need it all the way around, but right there it did, so. The other, the other side looks pretty good. And now we'll put a finish. I'm going to use pearl etched pigments and I'm going to be using antique bronze color. And what I do is I put it in a lid which makes it easy to get to. Cradling it in my hands, I uh, dip my finger into the bronze and swirl it with my thumb like that. That just helps it go on a little bit more subdued. And this is kind of an antique -y finish. And I just highlight it like that. Every time I dip my finger, I swirl it with my thumb. Just take my time and go around. Now whatever I can't get with my finger, I'm going to go back and get with a brush. And I'll show you how I do that. I like to get the bottom too. And again, just cradling it. I don't want to do anything to deform the features of the face or the, or the mushroom. Now what I'm going to do is set it down for a minute. I'm going to take a regular paintbrush like this. And I have some water off to the side. I'm going to dip it in the water. And then I'm going to squeeze off the water, the excess water. And then I'm going to dip it in a little bit of the bronze. Not in the big pile in the middle, but kind of off to the side. And then dab that on the table to get the excess off. Like this. And then I'm just going to brush it on wherever I missed with my finger. Keeping in mind that I want lots of black showing. Because this is an antique finish. And there we go.
So now you'll want to bake it. And uh, there, in the video description down below the video, you're going to find a tool and supply list and also baking instructions for the clay. This will be, the baking instructions you'll find there are for Sculpey 3 brand, which is the brand we're using. If you're using a different brand of uh, polymer clay um, or some other type of clay, you may, may or may not want to bake it, depending on the, uh, follow the instructions on the packaging for whatever clay you're using. And um, I'm going to show you, I uh, have, um, I want to show you some of the other ones I've done, uh, the other uh, mushroom gnomes I've done. So here they are. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I do many videos along these lines. Please like the video, give it a thumbs up, tell me what you thought of it, and leave me a comment and tell me what you thought of the video in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Be creative, have fun, and have a great day.